Hello everyone, this is Esan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own C project in Qt Creator using the Harvard University C library called CS50 library. So for that, let's first go and download the CS50 library from their website. And the website is manual.cs50.net forward slash library. Then we go to C windows we click on this it takes us to that part we save the link as the name we save it for my case i'm saving it in desktop however i would request that you save it somewhere safe and then now that it is downloaded i go to um, my desktop and i extract it so it is extracted and let me check yes the two files from the cs50 library is here one is the header file and the other is the implementation file so now this is set now let's go and fire up qt it might take a while depending on the speed of your computer um, in my case it just opened up it's which is nice so we go to file we go to project and then what we do is we go to non qt project select plain c project and then we say choose then say for example we want to save it in more desktop and I for that what I do is I go to browse I go to desktop I create a folder for example workspace this is where I'm going to save all my C projects so workspace double click we are here we select the folder and then we gave a name give a name for the project that we want to work on let's say we want to do hello world so we say hello world and that's it and we say let's say let's keep it default and then we say next and then we do next again and then we do finish and the project is created now if we want to run this we can just do build run and we wait for a while and you will see that this window appears printing hello world so you have create successfully created a C project now we have to add the CS50 library. The way you do it is you go to Pro and you say, um, for example, actually what you do is you go to your download folder where you have downloaded this. You copy paste this, copy these two files. You go to workspace, you go to the hello world folder and you paste it here, control V. And what you do then you go to qt and you right click on this project you say add existing files and then you add these two files by control clicking on the two files and you say open and you will see that this has update has been updated so you can see the source file there is a cs50 file then there is a header file cs50 which is also known as an as the interface file now there is one last thing that you have to do is you will have to add some comments over um, commands over here which I'll show you right now so what you do is basically you say Q make and you give some of these flags basically you add all these flags and um, you don't really have to understand all this at this moment uh, and you also add this so dash W format put a space and let's go to main go to main and see if this works we double click on main and then we add this library so we say include um, cs50.h and then we say we get a string from the user so we say string s get string so it gets the string from the user and we want to change hello world the world part with the placeholder string placeholder and we replace that with the user given string and let's run this control R and we say S on and it says hello S on so that's it that's how you set up this whole system for your C project and uh, so that's how you create a C project using Qt and uh, Stanford sorry uh, the Harvard C library thank you